Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Rosalind, do you know where I left my Levi jacket? I believe you left it downstairs in the denim room. <laughs> no, sugar. Not that one. That's the one with the pearl buttons that I wore last night at the formal state dinner. You mean supper. No, now, Puddin, let's go over this again. This is one compromise we have got to make to appease these Yankees up here. The midday meal is lunch. And the evening meal is dinner. Miss Lillian won't like that. Well, I plan to talk it over with her as soon as she gets back from shopping. She has gone to buy me another new suit. That's another thing, Jimmy. I think she's overdoing it. Have you seen our bill from Robert Hall? <laughs> we, Jimmy, we have gone over our $200 limit. You only live once, Rose. Listen. I am looking for the blue jean jacket that has the cowboy fringe on it. The one like our ambassador to France has. Oh, Greg Allman. Yes. Honey, honey, you have never had a blue jean jacket with fringe on it. That's right. I have lusted after one like that, though. <laughs> Many times in my mind, I have seen myself wearing one. <laughs> but I believe all men do. Hush up that kind of talk now. Listen, here comes the groundskeeper. Oh, yes. Hello. What is your name, sir? Ralph. Then you won't mind if I call you Billy Bob. <laughs> Billy Bob, we want you to help us in bringing a little down-home atmosphere to the White House. Yes, we cannot get back to Plains as often as we would like to these days, so we want to bring a little South Georgia up here to D.C. The first thing we want you to do is, uh, come here. You see that long fence out there running by the sidewalk? Well, right inside of that fence, I would like for you to dig a long trench about one foot deep and about 50 yards long. Yes, then we would like for you to take about 100 old tires and paint them white. <laughs> and then bury them about halfway up. Now, make sure that they are even, though. Yes, that is important. We don't want this to look tacky now. <laughs> and and I, don't forget, Sugar, that your brother Billy is coming up to visit this weekend. That's right, Rose. Did you remember to mail him a Greyhound ticket? No. No, Jimmy, he says he prefers to hitch. Well, then he should be here Friday, Saturday for sure. What we would like for you to do, Billy Jean, is to get a 57 DeSoto and put it out in the middle of the front yard out there on the grass. Now, make sure it doesn't have any wheels on it. Well, now, I believe Billy Jack knows that, babes. Now, you wouldn't leave an old rusting car in the front yard with the wheels on it, would you? Of course not. Did you get the ants? The ants? Yes. There are no ants out here in the backyard or the front yard or anywhere around the White House here. Oh, that's terrible. Yes, it is. And I have saved you a 14 one-pound coffee cans. Coffee cans? Yes, I would like for you to paint them red and plant some gladiola bulbs in them and then put them out on the south portico. Of course, that is just until they open up now. And then we'll transplant. Oh, oh, yeah, let me guess. Out by the tires. You catching on, Billy Joe. <laughs> well, I'm, uh, I'm into landscaping. Heavy. 